For today's video, I will tell you how Dubai Duty Free is processing your ticket which you purchased online. Hi guys, my name is Donna and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will tell you how Dubai Duty Free processes your tickets which you purchased online. Since the start of pandemic, duty-free shops are all closed. This department is earning for Dubai Duty Free, the cyber finance team. They have 58 shops selling finest surprise and millennium millionaire tickets. Imagine how many millennium millionaires they are selling each series. 5,000 tickets. Yes, those 5,000 tickets are being checked one by one. Millennium Millionaire has three pages. They're checking if every page is perfect and error-free. Once these 5,000 tickets are checked, rechecked, and double-checked, and triple-checked, they will allocate the tickets. Oops! Wait, wait. Before allocating the tickets amongst the 58 counters, they have to pull out all those reserved tickets. If you have a specific ticket number in your mind, you can reserve the ticket, you can call them, you can email them, and if this ticket is still available, they can reserve the ticket for you. So after taking out all those reserved tickets from those 5,000, then they will start allocating amongst the 58 counters. This time, it's pandemic, so most of the counters are closed. Now, most of the tickets are being allocated in the internet. Before, 2,000 out of 5,000 is being allocated online. The rest of the tickets are sold in the retail counters. Going back to Millennium Millionaire, Millennium Millionaire is limited to 5,000 tickets. Unlike the other lotteries here in the UAE, they're selling when you buy two, you get one free. When you buy one, you'll get one ticket free. To buy duty free, they're selling 5,000 tickets. They have to complete this 5,000 before they can schedule for the draw. Usually, the draw takes place every other week. I have mentioned earlier that some lotteries here in the UAE is selling lottery tickets which you might find cheaper but it's unlimited they're selling more than 5,000 more than 10,000 more than 20,000 more than 30,000 tickets in one series but for the budget TV it's only limited to 5,000 big chance fat chance by Millennium Millionaire Ticket from Dubai Duty Free. I'm gonna show you a video wherein you will see how the tickets are being printed. You will see in the video, uh, actually that's me printing the tickets. That's the Millennium Millionaire Tickets. And then after printing with care it from the jacket and the first copy will go to the acrylic box the second copy will be the accounts copy and then the last one the hard copy with the jacket that's supposedly uh, for the customer but since you purchase your ticket online that will be for safekeeping let's go to final surprise for the fine surprise, there are two types of fine surprise. Lottery in Dubai GDP. Find a surprise car and find a surprise motorbike. For the find a surprise car, there are two kinds of car. One is luxury car, one is super cars. These luxury cars is limited to 1,300 tickets. While the super cars, they are limited to 2,300 tickets. The other find a surprise lottery is the find a surprise bike. Tickets are limited to 1,000. Ah, oh, by the way, the Millennium Millionaire costs 1,000 dirhams plus plus 5% VAT. For the fine surprise car, the ticket amount is 500 dirhams each plus 5% VAT. For the fine surprise motorbike, the price of the ticket is 100 dirhams plus 5% VAT. So that makes 105 dirhams. 
So other than the cyber finance team, there is someone from the finance department who is rechecking the counterfoils. They call the first copy of the ticket counterfoils. When all 5,000 tickets are ready, then that's the time that the marketing department will schedule the trip. When there is a confirmed date for the draw, the marketing department will be sending email notification regarding the schedule and the time of the draw. Most of the time, it is being held in Dubai airports, but the airport is closed. Most of the time, it's in Umrah Mall now. But as soon as the airport will resume, they will go back to the operation. And in case you win, if you purchase your ticket online, you don't have the original copy of your ticket. You just have to present your e-ticket copy which you can find in the dashboard of your account and the proof of purchase like the bank statement. Actually, now they are encoding those tickets which are sold from the counters in the airport. They are being encoded manually. You should write legibly. Most of the time, they are receiving complaints wherein they did not receive any email notification. They are not being notified regarding the schedule of the draw and they are not being notified who won the raffle. So that happens when you don't write legibly. So it will be easier for them to read, especially your email. Sometimes they're receiving calls wherein uh, they're complaining why I'm not receiving email notification blah 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 and when you check the ticket, the original copy of the ticket, they did not mention their email ID. So how can they receive an email if they did not mention their email IDs? Right? By the way, you can visit Dubai Duty Free Facebook page for the live streaming of the draw. If you have questions regarding your ticket, you can email cyber that finest at ddf.ae i will put all the direct emails of the persons you can ask regarding your ticket if you have thoughts doubts or questions you can address your concerns to the persons below i will put it in the description box so that's it so thank you for watching hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and click the notification bell for more videos thank you Bye!